today we'll show you how to hack into headlamps that use AAA alkaline batteries and turn it into lithium ion rechargeable battery and in this case 14500 lithium ion rechargeable battery. There are two ways to do this. First one is to put the battery externally outside the headlamp. The second way is to put the battery inside the headlamp. Let's get started. The reason why we can use lithium ion to replace alkaline is because three of these alkaline will be 4.5 volt. It doesn't matter if it's a triple A, double A, C or D. On the right side we have lithium ion which is about 4 volt. It doesn't matter if it's the 14500, 18650 or 2700 or any lithium ion for that matter. I have hacked into many electrical devices that use three alkaline battery and I can safely say that 100% of all of these devices that use three alkaline can be compatible with a single lithium ion cell. Let's talk about headlamps. This is something that you put on your head. So it's got to be small and lightweight. If the headlamp is too big, it's going to look hideous on your head and it's going to be cumbersome to walk around. If the headlamp is too heavy, you're going to develop neck pain and your next best friend is a chiropractor. And because of those reasons, almost all headlamps will have almost the same size and shape and also the weight. And they all use the same kind of battery. Three AAA batteries. This is the smallest alkaline battery you can go before compromising on capacity. And because the small size of these headlamps trying to replace with lithium ion batteries is quite challenging because these batteries are quite big compared to the headlamp. An 18650 battery is way too big for this headlamp. Plus it's heavy so you still don't want to use that. The next one in size it's an 18500 battery. It's a little bit shorter than 18650, but it's still relatively heavy. The best lithium ion battery for this hack is a 14500 battery, which is the same size as a AA alkaline. Even with this relatively small 14500 battery, it's still too big for some headlamps, and you still have to put the battery externally. But this headlamp is a little bit bigger and it can fit a single 14500 battery inside. And those are the two ways I'm going to hack into this headlamp to replace the alkaline batteries. The first one I want to show you is a headlamp that I modify by making an external case for a 14500 lithium ion battery. It's made by Defiant. This one I got from Home Depot. Here is the inside. Underneath the battery holder, you got a circuit board and the LED. And this case is quite small. If I put the battery in here, I cannot close the cover. There's not enough room inside this headlamp to put a 14500 battery in here. And that's with just the empty case without the circuit board. So if I put the circuit board back in here, there is no room for this battery and because of this I made an external case to put the battery in here externally outside of the headlamp. Instead of showing you how I made this case I'm going to make an external case for an 18500 battery and I'm going to show you how I make it. The 18500 battery is exactly the same height as a 14500 battery. It's a little bit fatter and thicker but it's about twice the capacity compared to the 14500 battery. It's a little bit heavier, so I'm a little bit hesitant for making a case for it, but the fact that it has twice the capacity compared to the 14500 makes me change my mind, so I've decided to make a case for this. I'm using a piece of EVA foam, 2mm thick, to make the battery holder and I'm going to use hot glue to glue it together. Just like that. I can easily slide the battery in and out. Now I'm going to glue it to the bottom of the headlamp using hot glue. Just like that. 
It is very tight. Try and pull it. I'm pulling very hard right now. It's not coming out. And if I pull it hard enough, it's the foam that's gonna tear off, not the glue. I also modified the inside of the headlamp. I saw the two wires from the battery negative and battery positive, and I drill a hole on the case, and I run the wire to the outside on both sides. Here is what it looks like. Battery on. I soldered a flat nickel strip on the wire so that it will work with my magnet. Now we put the magnet on. Just like that. And works beautifully. And if I run out of battery, take this one out very easily. Now we put a new one in. Now we put a magnet on. Just like that. Only takes a few seconds to change batteries. I did not modify the alkaline battery case inside. So I can still use my AAA alkaline batteries if I need to. Of course, I have to disconnect this battery first. Between the two headlamps that I modified, one with the 14500, one with 18500. I would prefer the 18500, even though it's a little bit heavier, it gives me twice the runtime. The advantage of having an external battery is that you can put a bigger size battery in here and you can have a longer runtime. The disadvantage is that it sticks out like a sore thumb and doesn't look appealing to some people. Fortunately, there's a different model that the inside is big enough to house a 14500 lithium-ion battery. This is made by Ozark Trail and I got it from Walmart and it's actually a Walmart brand. If I remove the battery housing, the inside of this headlamp can house a 14500 and I can close the cover nicely. Let's take a look at the uh, battery holder on this one. On the back, we've got the main board, the power button, and the LED. And this is where you push down on the button here on the top to turn on and off the unit. So I cannot take this out of this battery housing. The battery housing is actually a support for the board and the LED. So I cannot remove the battery housing. But if you look on the side here, half of the board can be cut out to have room for the 14500. So I'm going to go ahead and cut out half of this battery housing. Let's take this out first. Also, take this out. This can be easily cut by a cutter. So here we go. The battery holder is cut in half. And it's going to fit in here still looks good from the outside and I can still use the power button but now I have room for 14500 battery in here I'm gonna also cut out the two screw mounting holes to have some more room for the battery here's the main board I solder a couple of wires onto the battery terminals and then I solder a nickel strip onto the wire so that I can use a magnet to stick it on the battery now you can just put it on I still have two screw holes on the top here to secure the board. Now we can put the battery on. Now we put the magnets on. Let's see if it works. Yes! Beautiful! And I can close the cover as well. Isn't that beautiful? You don't even know there's a lithium ion battery inside. So by using a magnet to connect to the battery, the battery is removable. So if it runs out, I can just remove the battery and put in a new one, put the magnets on, and I'm good to go. Here's the new battery in with the magnets. And there we go. And it is very easy to remove the battery. Check this out. Boom. 
is out and the new battery is in just like that So there you have it, how to modify a headlamp using an external lithium-ion or internal lithium-ion battery. This project is actually quite challenging because the headlamp's battery housing is quite small and it doesn't fit a lithium-ion battery inside. I've gone through many sleepless nights trying to come up with an idea to put a battery inside the headlamp, but ultimately it's my son that gave me the idea. So this is actually an idea from a 12 year old. So credit goes out to Junior for an inspiration to make this. To be fair, the external batteries are my idea. But his idea with an internal battery looks much cleaner and much better with an internal battery. This method is actually a lot easier and faster to make. It only takes me a few minutes to finish the whole thing as opposed to the other method with the external battery. And I don't have to deal with any glue at all. Gluing EVA foam to plastic permanently with hot glue is not easy. There's a special technique to do it which I'm going to show you in the next video. That's all for now folks. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.